Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Hideous Thoughts here coming at you with another Black Desert Online video for console. This is going to be episode 38 of my Black Desert console series and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can go from level 0 all the way up to 56 for a new character and this is going to be predominantly aimed at beginners, people who are playing the game for the first time. Uh, but if you're a new player, watch it anyway because you may learn something. So guys, if this video helps you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit that bell button so you get notified when future Black Desert videos go live. So guys, like I said, this is going to be predominantly aimed at new players. And the reason for that is because this is kind of like, it's not, it's definitely not the fastest way to do this. I'm, I'm going to throw that out there. This is going to be a method that I would highly suggest new players to do if they're playing the game for the first time. Now the game can be a little bit overwhelming when you first get in because this is where you're starting here in the forest of seclusion. So if I opened up my map for you, I'm just going to show you this right now. So that's going to be right here, uh, ancient stone chamber. And uh, there's really like no tutorials in this that tells you what to do. So what you would do is you would come here and you would open up your black spirit and you would talk to the black spirit and he's going to start you off. But there's no real kind of strategy here for you to follow no no tutorials that explain things to you so you kind of left to figure it all out by yourself now what i like to do guys when i'm starting out on a new character is i like to come down here to, to these wolves and i'll just kill myself some wolves all the way up until i'm around level seven now, the reason why i do level seven is because that allows me to come into my character select menu and just switch characters freely without having to go back to the character selection screen. So that's one thing that I like to do for every character is just automatically get it to level seven before I even start anything, before I start any questing or do anything like that. Now, the way that I originally filmed this video was I was going through step by step, explaining to you which NPCs to talk to. And it ended up being a really long, drawn out, boring ass video. And I deleted the whole lot and I'm redoing it again. And now I'm just going to give you an overview of it because there's a lot of the things that I was going to explain. I can just do it without having to show you. So I don't want to bore you guys. I don't want to bore you guys. I want to get the information across as fast as possible. So without me rambling, let's get into the nitty gritty. Now, like I said, guys, this isn't going to be the fastest way to do this. Obviously, the fastest way is going to be getting your friend or a guild member to power level you all the way to 56. That's definitely going to be the fastest way to do that. By the way, guys, if you um, are looking for some friends to play with or you need to join it or you're looking for a guild to join, feel free to jump into my Discord community, which the link is in the description below. And you're going to be able to network with a whole bunch of other BDO players. All right, guys, so here we are at the Soldier's Grave. And this is where we finished up, where we got to level 56. So I thought this would be a good place to come back to and just show you where we where we got to. Now, if we look on the quest tab, um, I've, I've opened up all the, the quests so you can see. So we went past the Calfion quest line, and this is level 51 Madai. This is the start of Madai region. And we're into the second quest line in Madai region. So we're not really too far into Madai. Um, we're about 13 quests into the second into the uh, second quest line in Madai. Now, what I would suggest you do if you're returning or a new adventurer, as soon as you finish this quest line here, the qualities of God, all 14 of these quests, you're gonna wanna go and you're gonna talk to Cliff. Now, Cliff is at the Western Guard Camp. So if you look, there's Velia and the Western Guard Camp is right here. Now, Cliff is, um, he's got three quests for you. If you're above level 56, you're going to have to defeat three awakened bosses. And if you're below 56, he's going to give you three quests. So you're just going to go and kill some monsters. They're pretty easy. You won't need help for that. After you've completed all those three quests, you're going to be able to go back, talk to him. And he's going to give you three weapon boxes. These are plus 15 yellow grade weapons. They are amazing. And they're going to carry you all the way through the rest of the storyline. These are also going to stop you from spending money on gear. Now, speaking of gear... You can see here what I've done so far. I haven't got the cliff weapons because I've already done it. I've done it once on my Sork and I haven't taken a 30 day break from the game to become a returning player. So I can't get them again. So what we're doing is we've just rocked the narrow gear. Now, 
if you have better RNG than me, you by now you could possibly have gotten these to to uh, pen. And what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to pull up on the screen here. I'm going to show you what it would look like with the full pen narrow here. So you can see with uh, I haven't done the accessories, and I'm going to explain why in a second. But we've got the the helmet, the uh, the chest armor, the gloves, the two weapons, and the boots. Now this is going to get you on its own without any accessories 94 ap and 191 dp but you can see here we've got some accessories so the, with the narrow earring i've got a duo i believe what i did is i just ended up smashing some together with no fail stacks just to kind of see how i'd go i think i blew one up and then the other one i got to duo right here um the asula ring duo i got that for free these i think i I just picked these up along the way. The belt, I either got this from Killing Monsters or from a quest reward. And uh, the Asula Crimson Eye Necklace. Now I'm going to explain to you guys what the dealio is with the Asula Necklaces. So, Abandoned Iron Mine. AP requirement here. 70 to 90 AP. And I'm going to say around 100 DP. So the Abandoned Iron Mine, you're going to have to kill 500 of them. And that's going to give you a free duo Asula Necklace. Up here at the Wandering Rogues, 80 to 100 AP area, you're going to have to kill 500 of them, and that's going to get you a duo ring, a duo Asula ring. Coming up here to the Elric Shrine, 95 to 150 AP, so you're going to have to kill a thousand of them, and that's going to get you a tri Asula belt, and you can see that on the, on the screen right here. And at the Helm's Post right here, 90 to 110 AP, that's going to get you a tri solar necklace. And you can see that that's the subjugation. These are the quests right here. So you can go ahead and you can do those. I haven't done those because I haven't come across those areas yet. But this is something that you can do. So they're the accessories that you're able to get. I would recommend the Asula over the narrow. Just the AP is better. The narrow accessories are kind of shit. And they're kind of hard to get as well. Like to get, you can exchange the beginner black stones for accessories, and then you've got an RNG chance of them succeeding or blowing up. And they're just kind of a pain in the ass to to get. So I would just go straight for the Asula accessories. They're just they're free. They're easy to get. All you gotta do is kill a bunch of monsters. So this is where we're at right now. So on top of the the stats that we've got, 116 AP, 200 DP. This could be more if I, these went to pen, but this is what we've got. And obviously we can have more if I went and killed those other monsters and got those other accessories. But we've got, we're up to 70 inventory slots and we've managed to get around 108 million silver. I've got some trash loot here that I haven't sold. And uh, some of this as well isn't included in items that I've had to put into the central market to sell because it was filling up my inventory space. It doesn't include the value of like blackstones and all this other stuff that I can sell. Um, if I wanted to, like I could sell this Asula's eye necklace here for another hundred fifty thousand. So it's it, it some things weren't really aren't really included in that. But if you were to sell absolutely everything, you're probably going to end up with around 110, 111 million silver, something like that. Now, to do this, what we did is we we followed the main storyline. Now, the reason why I'm suggesting this for new players is because you're going to get all this stuff that's going to help you along the way you're going to get increased inventory slots you're going to get all this silver now with the silver what i would recommend you do is start investing this into your cooking or alchemy things like that get your gathering uh get, get your gathering going and you can do all this stuff kind of in tandem like you're going to ro rotate your alts around and you're going to do different tasks with different alts and you can invest this 100 million silver into, into different resources that you can use into cooking and alchemy and things that are going to make you more silver. That's what I would suggest you do with the 108 million silver. I wouldn't suggest investing it into gear right now because you're going to get better gear along the way. You don't really necessarily need to buy gear right now. You're probably not going to need to buy gear until you're like into Valencia, I'm going to say. But even still, this isn't this isn't the end result for the gear that we're going to get for questing. If we take a look at the gear that I've laid out for you right here, this is kind of where, where we're at. So let's say that you're a new and beginner player and you've got the tri 
you've got the the cliff weapons now we don't have the awakening weapon here right now because it's not available on the stage but let's that's not really too important we're looking at our base ap unless of course you're playing awakening then obviously awakening is going to count you're going to need to know your awakening all right so we've got our pen narrow armor now you do get the with the with the quest line you do get this here the roaring magical armor i've decided that i believe the narrow gear is better even though you, with the roaring you can put crystals into it i believe that the narrow just is a little bit better you do get so 60 dp on the roaring and on the narrow it comes out to be 57 so you do get three less dp with this however you get 150 more hp and you get a lot more evasion and damage and and the damage reduction is more as well and these are the things that that extra 150 hp is going to help you a lot when you're first getting into the game more than the three dp okay so i would go with the pen narrow gear so we've got our accessories here now the red sand crystal ring you're going to get this once you complete once you enter the valencia quest line so at the start of the valencia quest line you're going to get one of these red sand crystal rings now the red sand crystal rings are amazing because they give you a lot of ap boost give you a bit of hp and they give you extra ap against monsters now what you can do is if you go into your quest line and you come down here to suggested you can find these quests here the sorry not 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 suggested it's uh recurring unsealed magic material and you can do these quests here every day and if you look at the quest rewards you can see you get one you get kafras which you can sell for three million silver each this is really going to help you build some money up over the time over like as you're progressing and you get these items here called the freed magical blackstones and the freed magical shards the freed magical blackstones are what you're going to use to enhance the red sand crystal ring um, and some other accessories other quest accessories and you're going to use these to pop these up i wouldn't worry about fail stacks for these you can just keep smashing it until it goes but you've got these daily quests here that you can go and you can do each one of these every day and uh get yourself some of these shards here and and the and the stones and just enhance these up to try and that's going to give you that 10 ap boost so that's the valencia the start of the valencia quest line the uh, um, honorary combatants gloves again that you're going to get that at the start of the valencia quest line the rugged valley helmet you're going to get that through the Madaya quest line we've got the tri asola earring here that we get from the helms now the i've just put it on another duo one here because you can get these from drops by you can get you can get drops for these by killing monsters around helms and and that so if you're doing a bit of grinding at helms you've, you've got that one on there all right now for the boots i've decided that um, i'm going to stick with the narrow uh narrow shoes and we you do get these valiant cadence boots here as part of the quest line but the narrows actually work out to be better stats so i've kept the narrows on there um we've got our tried belt here that we get for, we can get for free from killing those monsters and the cliff weapons now the cliff weapons i've just put them up to try and this is what i would suggest you do if you guys want to know how to enhance i'll link my video in the top uh, i explain to you guys how to enhance uh weapons up to try it's pretty straightforward so you guys can go ahead and you can watch that but that's going to give us up to 186 ap and 200 dp and we don't have to pay a single cent for any of this gear this is all free and this is going to really really help you kind of put your money towards other things in the game and focus on building building a, a worker empire focus on building a, a, a cooking empire an alchemy empire um, get your gathering going these are you can invest these this money into other things even if you want to start investing into doing some enhancing for profit you've got this money here that you're going to be getting to, as you're playing the game and you're going to be able to put it into other things now guys when you're looking at what's what quests you want to do you're going to come across npcs with 
these uh, icons above their head with the solid solid yellow line. If you find NPC with the broken yellow line, generally their daily quests, some of them offer you combat XP, however it's not as much as these ones. It'll be like 0.3%, 0.2%, 0.1%, something like that. It's really not that much. If you come across these ones here with the solid yellow line, and if you look in the bottom um, corner here of my screen, you can see the re report to Alan Serban. That's got a like a, a book there. And then the other one underneath Hex Sanctuary, it's got like a scroll. These are the ones that you want to do. So if I talk to Igor Vitali right here and I come into the quest, you can see these two scrolls. If I click on it and I want to come through and I want to see the quest reward, you're going to see this icon here, this yellow symbol with the XP plus combat XP. That's the ones that you're going to be looking for. These are the ones that are going to give you the combat XP. Now you're going to come across these all over the map. And what you want to do is you want to kind of, you're going to want to visit a couple places like a few times so for example as you're coming through into Calpheon some key regions that you want to look at um, so the Calpheon ex like has heaps of these all the way through these side streets up here at the cemetery um, all the through these streets here behind here down here like there's just all these side quests everywhere there's so many of them in Calpheon um, the containment ca contaminated farm has heaps the abandoned land has heaps. There's the um, northern wheat plantation has heaps all up through these wheat fields and everything all around here. There is a, a lot of like side quests there for you to do. So for example, there's there's just a lot of quests here. Now if you're coming down to somewhere like Keplin, Keplin has a lot of quests. Keplin Hill, the abandoned quarry, and uh, Gluttony Cave, Keplin Quarry for example. North Abandoned Quarry, these areas all have a lot of side quests. However, some of them don't appear until you reach level 47, level 50, something like that. So you're gonna have to like, you're gonna, cause you're gonna come here when you're following the main storyline, but you're not, you're gonna come here earlier on. And then what you're gonna do is then you're gonna actually come back here a little bit later on. But I would probably just come back here like a couple of times just to check because a lot of quests don't appear until you, one you're a higher level but then also once you're doing quests if you've got a quest that's um like a quest line if you open up a side quest with a quest line that's got 10 11 quests sometimes quests don't appear until you complete other quests and they might not even be in the same quest line you might have to do a different quest in a different quest line to activate uh, a, a, a completely separate quest so that's why it's a good idea just to check these areas t you know two or three times just to make sure that you haven't missed any if you come up here on the hill there's all there's a lot of quests up here and these are going to be available for you a little bit later on but i would i would highly suggest just making sure that you come back to areas a couple of times just to make sure that you don't miss out on any because they all really help like all of them give you these one percent xp per quest and when you're doing like when, when you've got a lot of them especially the quest line whereas like you're literally running backwards and forwards just talking to npcs and every time you talk to an npc you get one percent quest so within you know the space of a couple of minutes you could have five percent xp gain and this is like this is really going to help you to get that level up really quickly so just make sure that you're coming through and you're just checking these areas a couple of times just to make sure you haven't missed any. You got Calpheon, you've got the, uh, there is a whole lot over here at the South Kai Pier for you to do. And especially like these ones that require you to kill monsters and stuff, they're going to get you not only the quest, the quest XP, but then you're also going to get a lot of XP from killing the monsters as well. So there, there you go. Um, that's kind of like my recommendation just make sure that when you're doing these quests, you're just looking absolutely everywhere for all these side quests and you're just double checking these areas because you don't want to miss any uh, Marnie's lab and all of that. Now guys, one thing that I will point out as well is that I didn't really use any pets that have combat XP. Like I've got a lot of pets, pets here that give me combat XP, which would have helped me leveled up faster. And I also didn't use any XP buffs when I was grinding monsters. So these are things that are going to help you when you're doing this method because you can pop these xp buffs and you can get extra xp when you're grinding monsters and they're going to help you level up faster so you may even get to 56 before you reach soldier's grave before you reach this point this is just where i got to um, just by doing side questing and 
killing the monsters as I went along. I didn't go out of my way to get there as fast as possible. I just wanted to kind of do it as natural as possible. I didn't use pets because I wanted to kind of give it the effect of what a new player would be going through without all the pets giving them combat buffs and all this sort of stuff. So there you go, guys. Now, for those of you wondering what you do once you reach level 56, if you're doing it this method, then what I would suggest you do is as soon as you've reached level 56, you're going to come into your side quests. Once you reach level 53, the Black Spirit will give you one of these, Adventurer's Tome. Now, it doesn't really do too much on its own. All it does is give you a 20% silver bar gain from Elite Monsters. Not a big deal. However, if you come into your side quests and you come to Suggested, there's a quest line here, the Adventurer's Tome. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow this quest line here, and this is going to allow you to upgrade the Adventurer's Tome into the Chenga Tome. Now the Chenga Tome has additional rewards, like it gives you uh, 150 meter vision, and it also allows you to get an extra 0.3%, so 1.3% uh, XP gain per quest. And, the, and that's going to really, really help you go from 56 to 59. So go and get the cliff weapons as soon as you reach 56 and get the Chenga Tome because that's going to be the next step that you're going to want to do as soon as you as you reach this level. I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to show you how to do the Chenga Quest. I might do that in a separate video, but that's what I would suggest you do right now. Now the leveling to 59 is going to be different if you are doing it in this method. What I would suggest is I would just keep following the storyline until you reach level 59. And go into Valencia get the free uh, accessories there and the extra gear and then you can kind of determine whether you want to finish the Valencia quest line or if you want to go into Cama Silvia and you want to start making your way up to 60 and 61. All right but that's going to be it for this video again this was my uh, this is my opinion on how I think a new player should do it there are other ways to do it I agree through grinding power leveling, power leveling all that stuff but the benefits of doing it this way for a new player I believe are better than just getting to 56 as fast as possible okay guys so if this video helped you out make sure you like this like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see future videos for black desert I appreciate all of you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video